Hi there. Thank you for visiting Celestial Spa. My name's Marina. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. How can I help you today? You got an appointment. Fantastic. Let me just check you in. I'll just get off my system. Could I first take your first name, please? Mm -hmm. Cool, thank you so much. And your last name, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, so I've just got that here. And could I just take your postcode to make sure I've got the right person? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is that S for sugar? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, and could you just confirm your email address? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Just look you up here. Great. So I can see on our system you're booked in for a facial. Am I right? Fabulous. Well, you are right on time. Before we start, is there anything that I can get you to drink? Sure. So we've got a variety of waters, so we've got mint infused water, lemon infused water, cucumber infused water, it's very healthy, and um, so those are our waters. And then we've also got some herbal teas that might tickle your fancy a bit more. Um, so we've got kind of lavender ones, um, chamomile, um, and a lot of kind of Apple spices, which one kind of tickles your fancy? Yeah, okay, the lavender one. Sure, I'll get that ready for you. Um, let me just check what room we're going to be in. So, we are in room number three. So, if you just want to head um, down there um, to your right and go to room number three, I'll bring your tea for you. Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. I'll be with you in a moment. Here's your drink. I hope you enjoy it. So, to help me provide you with the best facial possible, first thing I'm going to do is analyse your skin type. This is going to help me really um, tailor the facial to you to be able to use the correct products um, that will give you the best sort of outcome. Um, so just as background, we have five different skin types and they all have very different textures and based on these skin types, there are certain areas where we want to pay a little bit more attention to. Um, and that's why I want to check this with you first. Um, just so I can make sure that I'm using the correct products on you. Um, and focusing on whichever areas we need to. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions to understand what type of skin you have. Is that okay? Yeah, so I'm just going to read out um, some statements about skin and you can tell me if yes, your skin's like that or no, it isn't. Is that okay? Fantastic. Okay, so um, the first statement I have is my skin is quite dry. It can flake easily and often feels taut. Do you say that's like you? Okay. And um, 
Would you say this statement kind of corresponds to you? It's not just my face that feels dry, my legs and arms are too. Okay. And I prefer a rich moisturizer. Lighter ones don't quench my skin enough. Okay. My skin is maturing and I need to get all the help I can. I <laughs> don't worry. Your skin actually looks really good, so I, I agree with you, it's not at all like that, don't worry. Um, there's just different skin types, so I have to ask these questions. Please don't take offence, it's nothing against you at all. Yeah, fantastic, okay. Um, so I'll keep reading the statements. Um, my skin can flare up easily and I have to treat it carefully. Mm -hmm. My skin lacks lush and looks quite fragile. Okay. If I get stressed, it shows up on my skin. Okay. My skin burns easily in the sun. Fantastic. So I keep going. I don't have many worries with my skin, it's pretty normal. I like a quick and simple skincare routine. When I wake up in the morning, my skin is neither oily nor dry. I'm drawn to really natural products. It feels like I have two skin types on one face, dry and oily patches. My skin can sometimes shine up around my nose, forehead and chin. I occasionally have breakouts and blemishes. My skin sometimes looks a bit dull and lacks vitality. Fantastic, we nearly there, thank you so much uh, for going through this with me. Um, I suffer from breakouts, blackheads and my skin is usually oily. I shine up easily and my makeup never stays on my skin. I like to wash my skin to make it feel squeaky clean. I often feel as though I need to deep cleanse and spring clean my skin. Fantastic. And then um, the last thing I wanted to ask you was how you would describe your skin. So you've got options, you've got dry, sensitive, normal, combination, or oily. I know we don't always use those terms in every day, so um, feel free to describe it however you want. Sensitive. Okay. Yeah. I actually agree from what you've said that your skin is quite sensitive, and I would actually say your skin type is skin type B, so quite sensitive sort of skin um i can see just looking at your face now you've got a little bit of rosacea but that's nothing to worry about i will use um products adapted to that i actually have rosacea myself um it's completely a normal thing um it's nothing to be embarrassed about and i'm going to make sure that we use products to help you with your rosacea and make sure your skin doesn't flare up or anything like that and it's nice and calming products we're going to use okay fantastic so thank you so much um for answering those questions i think i'm ready to start just one question before 
we do. So we've, we said your skin is quite sensitive. Do you have any known allergies? No. Okay, that's good. I can read that more um, as well with that, but that's fine. We're going to use products that are very good for sensitive skin. Okay, fantastic. So now we're going to start the facial with some cleansing and this is so so important um, we believe here at the spa that a proper skincare regime always starts with cleansing firstly because it's crucial for um, healthy skin do you usually cleanse your skin? yeah fantastic what kind of products do you use to do that? micellar water oh that's really good I'm actually going to start off with this micellar water here it's um, specially formulated um, for sensitive skin so that's really good is this similar to what you use yeah so you're doing the right thing there so that's fantastic um that's really great and i mean i'm sure you know this but just as kind of a few extra tips i would say it's important to have a deep cleanse at night and a light cleanse in the morning so what you're doing now using this is really fantastic um, to use in the morning but I would maybe use in the evening something a bit more dense like um, a cleansing balm have you ever used those? no? ok I'll show you or you can use a lotion as well um, but I'll show you those options don't worry that's completely fine um, and I do recommend kind of um, double cleansing as well, so that's really important. So maybe you could start off with your micellar water and then finish off with um, a cleansing bath, um, particularly at night, um, because you know your pores have been open all day. Um, you've had a lot of stale kind of makeup. If you're wearing any, I don't think you're wearing any. That's fantastic. So it'll be a bit easier to cleanse. But yeah, on a normal day or typical day. When you're wearing makeup, you've had all the daily grind and pollution that goes to the bottom of your pores. So it's really important um, that we cleanse to really flush that out. Um, and when you wake up, you want it to kind of be clean so you can apply your makeup very nicely. And any products you apply on your face go in very nicely as well. So that's fantastic. So I'm just going to use this micellar water on a cotton pad and I'm going to be using strokes really to clean the skin um, and this is actually how you should buy any products as cleansers, creams um, as it goes a long way towards helping prevent any lines so always use upward and outward strokes for little circular motions around the side of the nose, your temples and your chin So now I'm going to use this lovely cleansing balm. Um, this one is really good on for sensitive skin um, as it's rose scented. Um, I would recommend for your skin to use any sort of rose hip oil products. That's really good. Um, and this is such a lovely product. Um, it's really a deep cleansing balm. So we're going to use it now, but you can 
can use it any time of course but I would recommend really using it in the evening um, so it's got this lovely delicate English rose which is great for sensitive skin it's gonna kind of calm down any sensitivities you have it will dissolve makeup and daily brown pollutants really well so this is something I would use more in the evening once you have all the makeup um, it's so lovely actually um, so so lovely um, I'll let you have a smell because it just smells beautiful. What do you think? Yeah, it's so lovely. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> it's my favourite product, actually. Um, so I'm going to use this now on you. And that's really going to let your grime out and let you take care of your skin. It's so lovely. So I'm just going to smooth this over your face and neck. And like I said before, always upwards really to prevent any lines, get that circulation going in your face. Okay. Just gonna open this face cloth and remove the cleanser. You can also do this with warm water if you wanted to buy this product afterwards because it's a really nice one. We've got it in our shop. Um, but here I'm just gonna use gentle face cloth and just wipe that off. use a toner to really close the pores. Now to finish, I will moisturise your skin and this is a really vital step um, in your skin routine, um, both in the morning you might have like a lighter day cream and then in the evening more rich sort of night cream. Um, I will be applying a night cream now so really you get the full benefit of the moisturiser. 
and I've selected a cream that is suited to you. So it's um, a rose hip um, night cream and it's really going to help nourish, rejuvenate and protect your skin. This cream has got some fantastic ingredients. So it's got rose hip, um, which is really good for any sensitive seeds you've got there. Soothing cucumber to help with that as well. And willow that will help really intensely hydrate and improve your skin's elasticity. So that's really good. So I'll apply that again in upward motions. And then I'm just going to use um, a facial roller really to further add the benefits of boosting your blood circulation and kind of avoiding any fine lines um, going forward. Okay, fantastic. So that's the end of the facial today. How are you feeling? Oh, that is so good to hear. Well, thank you so much for coming to visit us at Celestial Spa. It's been an absolute pleasure doing this facial for you. So I'm glad you've enjoyed it. So whenever you're ready, um, you can meet me at the reception and I will have a sample of the Rose Cleansing Balm ready for you. I always like to give my clients a little sample to take home um, so they can just remember how wonderful their treatment was and I think that product was really good for you. So yeah, just a little gift from us to say thank you for coming. Um, to have a treatment and I hope you enjoy that sample for you to use at home as well. Okay, fantastic. Well, see you in a bit and thank you so much again um, for choosing Celestial Spa. Bye bye.